Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm going to show you what we've brought and it's not until I kind of pull it all out that I realise how much we've brought. We have so much stuff. I just think it's so hard that you just go innocently, innocently into a supermarket to buy some hummus and you come back with like three new baby grows. It's not our fault, it's not our fault. Sainsbury's, you're the worst. I go, I work in this like complex, I teach in a gym that's got, that you go through Sainsbury's and you know, I just pick myself up a drink to have whilst I'm teaching, I just walk out with everything. So, um, let's start off with Sainsbury's, I've got some really cool stuff. So I got this the other day and I was quite shocked about these because it's born in 2018, it's only February and these were down to £1.50. And I said my friend is due like five, six days before us, so I got us those as well. And then look, this little blanket, this was three pounds. So they came to four pound fifty. So I had to get like two. <laughs> They're so thick and soft as well. And we're kind of, um, we've got some ideas with the nursery, but even like if it's boy or girl, there's gonna be elements of gray in there. I, we both love gray. So I think the bedding is going to be quite neutral. Um, so that works really, really well. I also got this in Sainsbury's. So Tom loves plaid shirts. Um, so we found this one. And it is quite boy-like. But we go walking a lot. And we've both got tops that are lined with fleece. So when I found this and brought it home to him, he was like almost crying. <laughs> so emotional. And this was down to five pounds. And it's so warm. And we got it in three to six months um, because baby's due August. So it will be sort of December to this time next year. Can you believe this time next year I will have a little being that fits in this? But as I said, even though it is kind of boy-y, I think you could make it girly. And, um, well, look at how I dress. <laughs> so... Um, yes, that was at Sainsbury's as well, and we've brought so much more. I haven't got it all here, but I got a lot of the Chris like the Christmas stuff, little reindeer all in ones. And if you do live near me in uh, Hinkley, Sainsbury's, they have so much of the baby Christmas stuff still for like one pound, two pound. So if you do know somebody that's expecting and they'll have a up to six month old at Christmas, go grab some stuff. The next one is Morrison. So Morrison is less than a mile from our house and <laughs> it <laughs> Tom just wants to dress this child like him. So I found these. Again, I just popped in for some hot wedges from the hot food counter. And like these popped into my hand. It's not my fault. So these are little tweed trousers and these were three pound. Again, I think you could team this up with something like yellow or pink or like blue for a girl. Probably you could use maybe a pinafore dress over that one. This is how convinced I am it's a boy. I might get quite shot next week. But I thought that's a really cute little outfit. I think the top was like two pounds. So the whole outfit was a fiver. So I just keep finding these bargains. Um, we get everything naught to three or three to six months because we do think we're gonna have a big baby. I don't know why, we're just predicting it and it might change. This one was from Sainsbury's and we saw this when we were going through the IVF and it was down to four pound fifty. How cute is this? Oh, it's so lovely. That's so unisex. Um, we love knitted stuff as well, and I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. It's not practical in the slightest. As soon as the baby vomits on it, that's probably going to be ruined, but we'll, we'll put it on really quickly and get a picture. It'll be fine. <laughs> it will be fine. Now, this one is because <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> but we're probably not going to have a girl, but how cute is that? And this was from, yet yeah, it was Asda. And it was down to five pounds. But I do know a few people that are pregnant. So if it's not ours, it will go to someone else. And this is so lovely. This is eight pound full price. And this is like an occasion dress. And some of those occasion dresses are like 40, 50 pounds. It, it probably doesn't do it justice, but it's really, really nice. I do really like the Asda baby clothes. They do tend to do so much pink stuff for girls and I'm not really a <laughs> pink person. I'd say this is more rose red though, to be fair. Then I got some bargains online. They had a bit of a baby event, so I just got some plain baby grows. These were three for £2.75 and I just got, I think I got t-shirt ones and sleeveless ones. So whenever I see there's an offer, I'm just grabbing these. These were um, from Asda and Lion, George and Lion as well. And they're the hooded towels. So, 
little, we've got a penguin one as well, but these were three pound for free. So we've got these three little towels and then we've got a penguin one as well that was um, in like the Christmas sale. This was also Asda and this was reduced to eight pounds and we've, we've been eyeing these up for a while. Again, it's, I think it's in the boys section, but I think girls in red looks lovely. <laughs> it looks lovely. Um, it's so warm, it's so thick. And we've looked at some of these in Mama and Papa's and they're like £35. And again, this full price is £14 and it was on sale for eight. And I just think it's amazing. And it's got little mittens that are attached as well. We got these the other day for £4.50. We've got another set like this as well. I don't know where the rest of the clothes are. We've got so many. Um, but these ones were £4.50 for five. These were from Tesco. And I just thought these were lovely little long sleeved ones. Got a really good deal on this. So we've been looking for little bargains and we got this. How cool is this? So it's got mirrors and kind of dangly bits. We're not massive Winnie the Pooh fans, but we just loved how colourful it was. And it's got the little ball pit in it as well and some little balls over here and this was only 30 pounds 30 33 pounds and that was on um george online again i think the supermarkets it's really good to go in you get some bargains but then you'll get different ones online so we just we kind of set a budget of 2000 pounds for everything and i think we've done it in about 1300 so my next my next big buy i thought pram shopping would be fun and then it just got really stressful we'll test them out and you don't know if you've been a cheap ass buying a cheap one or just being expensive buying one of the ones that's like 1500 quid for everything um so we did a lot of research on the mum and baby awards and i spoke to my friends that had, had children and a couple of people raved about the Cosquetto um giggle i think we've got the giggle set so we found this website and I'm going to link it below because I can't remember it off the top of my head and we've got my changing bag from here which should have been £99, we've got that for £45 um, and I'll do a little like clipping of that now because it's downstairs and we got this whole set with the car seat and the carry cot for £330. This is the design. feels really heavy because we've got the... Um, wheels and stuff in here so I haven't got the whole pram out but when we've moved house we're going to do a whole setup video of it but this is it and I thought if it's a girl it's either going to be Wonder Woman or if it's a boy it will be Captain America that's that's how my life works I've brought quite a few maternity things because I say my tummy's getting like firmer I've had to buy maternity bras already because I've gone up a back size and two cup sizes <laughs> already and um, so i bought those i got some really good deals in the double and sale as well and I, it felt so much better because i was in a lot of pain and it does sound funny but i was in a lot of pain and again my job doesn't kind of you know you need to have some security so i brought shock absorber bra in the correct size i went and got measured at debenhams and I was so happy. I was like bouncing on the spot in the bedroom. And Tom was like, I take it, it's fine then. I was like, yay, they're contained. Cause I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't work out. And um, I, I like working out. It just keeps me kind of sane. I'm just working out a little bit, tiny little bit. Um, and then if I'd wear a normal bra, when I took it off at the end of the day, it was so painful. Again, it's got better since I've come off the IVF drugs, which I mentioned in the last video. Um, they're not as painful, they don't feel as heavy. So, yeah, I would recommend getting a maternity bra because this woman in Debenhams, um, not just a random woman, a woman that worked there, she said, Let, try on this. And I was like, oh my God, that's so comfortable. <laughs> Couldn't believe how good it was. So, yeah, maternity bras. I've brought some, I was feeling a bit self conscious because I've gained weight. So, I brought some really nice, massive, like maternity clothes haul from Boohoo. I'll do a video on that actually because I got a bargain. I got probably a whole load of clothes for 60 quid we've um, picked our cot as well which we're going to get so once we do order that again we're just waiting to move house which is in the next sort of month or so and then we're going to do up the nursery and we'll do a nursery tour because we've pretty much picked everything the furniture we're going to have um i said the cot we've got a um 
sleepy head as well to go in the cot which my mum's brought for us kindly which um again once we've got everything i will do a kind of review on them and i'll do a review kind of a tour card what we've brought and not brought and why I've really done my research of what you need because we are on a budget because obviously we paid for the RDF. I'm self-employed so I have to save up all my maternity pay um, <laughs> which is proving a little bit stressful and I have to save up my tax bills all at the same time. So I'm a little bit stressed um, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm aiming to have six months off work so it's just kind of... Um, Maybe I need to stop going to Sainsbury's so I don't kind of leave with these all the time. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video. Leave a little comment for me um, if you liked anything or didn't like anything I brought. And um, yeah, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.